Hi Aquarius! Welcome to Universal Guidance Tarot. It is time for your weekly reading. I'm shuffling the angel cards. Really good. We're going to take out a word from your guardian angels and spirit guides, a word of advice before we get started on your tarot card reading. So we will have that card here in just a moment. Okay. Find that card. Get my glasses on. Here we go. For Aquarius. Where's your card of advice? It's right there. It's the six of emotion. So I will read it to you. Memories can fill your heart with many emotions. It's important to remember your past accurately without seeing it as better or worse than it was. People you used to know may return into your life unexpectedly. Children could be an important issue or you may need to reconnect with your inner own, your own inner child. Wow. That is a card for thought. And here we go. So if any of these cards slip out while I shuffle them, I'm putting them back in the deck until I'm ready to have them come out. It's a very slippery deck. Very glossy cards. Beautiful though. Take my glasses off. I don't need them now. I don't need them now. So this is a two-part reading. The overall energy of this reading will be the middle card in the first part of the reading for Aquarius. And one more little shuffle here for Aquarius. Okay, here we go. We're getting ready. Please, universe, please tell us what Aquarius needs to know. What is coming in? What's going out? Any advice moving forward? Ooh, boy. Is there anything hidden that should be revealed to Aquarius? Give us what you need to tell us, please, universe. Okay. So, we had quite a few come out. I put the cards down in the same order that they come out of the deck. This is a general reading that will not resonate with everyone. So you can take from the reading what does resonate or maybe think about a private reading. I do private readings and all you need to do is shoot me an email to get started if you'd like a private reading from me. So here we go. We've got a few cards left that go towards the second part of the reading. The overall energy, Aquarius, my goodness. You're up in your head. Um, you have these swords of truth and clarity. These are swords of thought. So in your alone times, your quiet times, these thoughts creep in over and over. And it can be kind of torturous at times. So the, the Nine of Swords here, I'm going to um, find out why this is surrounding your entire reading. Up in your highest energy is the Moon. This is the card for Pisces. Pisces might be strong in your chart or around this reading. But the Moon here is shining the light in the dark, shining a path forward. This is a card of enlightenment. It's a card of hidden things being revealed. It's like night turning to day. So, this is probably why you're up in your head. I think something hidden has been revealed, or you think it's being revealed. So, uh, let's find out. The moon and the nine of swords are the strongest energies in this entire reading. I have the king of pentacles next to the moon and right above the nine of swords. 
This is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. But this is your energy. You have this huge, look at that pentacle, it's huge. And all the cards, by the way, are male or female. And uh, all the kings and queens are very mature thinking. So you are a mature thinking individual. It's right above the Nine of Swords. I think you want to be committed to someone. And something has enlightened you. I, I think you're going through a, a period of disappointment. Um, next to the King of Pentacles is the Five of Wands. So the Five of Wands suggests that, wow, you're playing tug-of-war in your mind. You, you really are up in your head, if this is your reading, um, going back and forth with scenarios, going back and forth with hope, going back and forth with whatever it is about uh, coming into a committed relationship with somebody and being grounded and secure and stable. But this whatever was revealed has really got you up in your head like you, you don't know what to think. But I do have the chariot here, which is under the moon and right next to the Nine of Swords. This is the card for Cancer. Um, but the chariot here is moving forward. That's what it's all about. And you can move forward really fast if you snap those reins on that chariot. So whatever's being revealed you're, that you're really up in your head about here, um, you are going to be able to move past it. I have the Two of Cups on the other side of the Nine of Swords and under the Five of Wands really being up, you know, tug of war, you know, hope, no hope, uh, uh, fresh start, no fresh start. Uh. But, you know, that Five of Wands is right above the Two of Cups. This is a soulmate card. I think you're involved with someone who is a soulmate, male or female. But it's... It's friends first, then love, okay? So, um, <clears throat> the Two of Cups, it's, the Two of Cups, it's, it can be a, a friends with benefits, okay? I want to get that out there. It can be. Um, this can be a friend also that you've had in your life that I think you want to move forward with. But there's something that's been revealed to you that has really disappointed or really got you up in your head. It's, it's brought you some pain. I have the Ten of Pentacles under the chariot. Well, this is security, stability, groundedness. This is a card for marriage. It's a card of commitment. Um, you are ready for that, and I think you're looking for that. Um, but you're moving forward, and I'm not sure if you're moving towards it, or away from it at this point. I have the Seven of Wands next to the Ten of Pentacles and right under the Nine of Swords. So it just feels like everybody's got an opinion here. I think you might have friends or relatives, people who love and care about you, who are trying to help you by giving their opinions. <clears throat> but you have your own wand, see that? And you're going to pick and choose, and uh, you may not even listen to anybody. You may do it, you know, make all your own decisions. But there are people around you who do care about you and want to help you move forward in your best way. Um, but, you know, you're, you're pretty strong as far as your mind goes. You're pretty... Uh, um, you can solve this. You feel like you can solve this or you can, you know, handle this on your own. I have the High Priestess here, right next to the Seven of Wands and under the Two of Cups. You're going to follow your intuition. Now, if you haven't been, do it. Because this is a very powerful spiritual card here. And it's right under that Two of Cups. Now, there's the moon again. See that? So the moon is, um, there's a lot of guidance right within yourself. The moon is trying to enlighten you. So listen to when your heart, your head, and your gut, let them come together and listen to your intuition. Don't shrug it off um, because your intuitions are running very strong right now. That is how you're going to resolve or move forward from this situation. Mm -hmm. i got a few cards towards the second part of the reading, then I'll take out the rest. So please. 
just give me more cards for this reading here, please. For Aquarius. There we go. Look where that's at. Right under the Knight of Cups. The next of two cups. Hmm. What is going on? There you are, the King of Swords. Wow. Okay, Aquarius. I have the Knight of Cups right next to the Five of Wands. So you're up in your head, but there's an offer coming in. I think it's from this soulmate. Hmm, this offer, it's a love offer, um, it's going to include some type of commitment. You've been wanting a commitment, it's going to include some type of commitment. Going, it, Whether it's going steady, being monogamous, getting married, whatever it is, it will uh, include some type of groundedness for your relationship. I have the Six of Swords next to the Ace of Pentacles. This is going to allow you to move forward with the Two of Cups, with the other person. The Six of Swords, gathering up those swords of truth and clarity is really helping you move away from this dark area like the Nine of Swords and with the Moon and away from these dark clouds, dark waters towards the light. It takes some work. You're pushing the boat with a pole. But it looks like um, you're going to be working on this relationship because they, they want to. They want to. And under this Knight of Cups and next to the Two of Cups is the Four of Wands. Wow, another soulmate card right next to the, a soulmate card. Well, this is, you know, it may feel like a Friends of Benefits and maybe that's why you're up in your head. But with the Four of Wands is not a Friends with Benefits card, okay? This is a very strong soulmate connection. I think things are changing. It might have started as Friends with Benefits, but it's evolving into something bigger, something more celebratory, something more united. Uh, this can be a card for marriage. Hmm. So here we have the Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands on each side of that Knight, Knight of Cups, that offer that's coming in. I have the Empress next to the Four of Wands and under the Ace of Pentacles. The Empress, this is your energy. This can be Libra or Taurus in somebody's chart. But the Empress, beautiful. You're, you know, that this is how they see you, okay? They see you as a beautiful, loving, kind, considerate, and thoughtful, and respectful, and I can go on and on. Person, lots of beautiful qualities. If you're a parent, you're a very good parent, and they could look at you as if you would be a good mother or father to their child. Because all cards are male or female, remember? So the Empress, beautiful energy. This is who you are. And I don't, I think they want to lock you in. <laughs> okay? I got the Ten of Swords next to the Empress and under the Six of Swords. This is the end of your pain. All right. Because we see we had the Nine of Swords surrounding your entire reading. Well, here's the Ten of Swords, and it puts an end to the Nine of Swords. I call this card the end, the end of the pain, the end of the suffering. That's awesome. So then we had the King of Swords come out. And right under the Four of Wands and next to the High Priestess, this is Air, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This is your reading, Aquarius. One of those signs could be strong in someone else's chart, too. But you have your sword out. And it's because you've been going through all this tug-of-warring, all this, um, you know, these thoughts of uh, pain, of, of like it not working out, or am I in a Friends of Benefits? or So your sword is out, and you're being really, really aware of what's being said and what's being done around you in this relationship. Follow your intuition, and I think your intuition is keep your sword out and now because you feel like you've already might have had a red flag of some sort. Keep your sword out. That sword is very important. I have the Ace of Swords next to the King of Swords and right under the Empress. The sword is going to help lead you into the light. So get all the truth, get all the clarity that you can get, like with that Six of Swords over there, so that you can move into the light and be happier and just 
more free and happy and self-assured and all the good things that come with it. And in a state of knowing, because I think part of this energy here is because you don't have your answers. And I think when they come in with this cup, they provide a lot of answers and that is what's helping you move forward and putting an end to this Nine of Swords energy. They're going, you know, the moon is probably going to be kind of a surprise when they come forward. And that is your path forward. I have the Queen of Cups next to the Ace of Swords and under the Ten of Swords. This is water, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer that might be strong in someone's chart here around this reading. And we do have the Chariot, which is Cancer. Um, but... The Queen of Cups is your energy and your mind is kind of on looking at the cup, cups are love, and trying to figure out, uh, do they love you? I mean, I know you got love for them because you're holding the cup and you're wondering if they really love you. Well, what, what happens is when they come forward with that cup, that love offer, it really does answer your questions for you. And... Um, just brings you out of all this um, mental torture that you seem to be going through here about this relationship with this Two of Cups person. Oh my gosh. So um, it looks like everything's working out. Um, it looks like you're just kind of in a spot of struggling mentally with the relationship because uh, they may not have been coming forward with anything secure or tangible in the, in the relationship, but it looks like they will be. So, wow. Woo, Aquarius, this is your reading. Thank you for watching Universal Guidance Tarot. And I want to thank my guardian angels, my spirit guides, for helping me deliver you this message.